Hey everyone, it's Michelle Gilmartin here with this week's project or this week's uh, technique for Technique Tuesday. One of the um, one of the requests that came up was to show how you could make a an applique in um, IQ Designer or My Design Center. So that's what we're doing today. I have on my USB drive, I have a JPEG of a teapot. And so we're going to make an applique out of a teapot. And then we're going to add some embroidery to it. If you don't have um, a JPEG of a line image, you can always scan the image using your scanning board and bring it into Design Center or my IQ Designer as a line image. But I have an image, so... We're going to begin by selecting My Design Center or IQ Designer. I want to bring in my JPEG of the teapot. So I'm going up to the top to the leaf and I'm going to select Line Image. And from that, I'm going to select my USB because that's where it's at. Um, I believe that it is in the B pocket, maybe. Nope. How about here? There we go. So I, I actually did a scan of this on my um, scanner. I had, it, uh, I had it printed out. All right, so there's my little teapot. I'm gonna select set. And then um, I'm gonna crop in as close as I can. And even though there's not like magnets or anything there, still crop in as close as you can because sometimes there's just like dust and extraneous stuff around the image and you would be end up having to erase that. So I know I'm gonna make an applique and I could change this later if I wanted to, but since I'm here on this page, I'm gonna change the line property to a double run. And I'm gonna select red for my first color and then okay so now let's see um, what we get for our detection level and it actually looks pretty good i can see a couple of pieces of lint that i may have to erase later but the image itself looks pretty good all the lines connect so i'm going to go ahead and select set and it opens up as a red teapot I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit here. I want to make this first image be the one that um, works out the, the best because I'm going to actually save it to build my applique with. So one of the things I can see is all these other red dots. Those are dots that were left over after, um, after I cropped. So I'm going to want to come in with my eraser and get rid of some of those dots because those will also digitize. There's another couple of them right there. Sometimes it's nice to have a really clear image because you don't have to worry about the um, all of the lines coming out, you know, good, but you do have to do some erasing. There's a really tiny one in there, so I have to really zoom in, see how big my tip is here. All right, anything else? Oh, there's another one there. It's funny how you don't see anything on the paper. And then when you have um, a scan that's clear, it picks up even dust or lint. And to me, it's kind of amazing on how powerful the program is that it converts lint to stitches. All right, I think that's probably good enough, so I'm going to come back down to 100. All right, so this is my teapot that I will be creating my applique. I don't want to have to do this again. I want this one. This is why I spent time erasing 
was because I wanted I want to save this one to the memory of Design Center and I'll build the rest of my applique on it. So I'm going to select memory and to the machine here. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and go through and select next. This first one, this is going to be my outline image that is the image for placement. So first of all, the chain link is going to grab all of the pieces together so that I can just work with them as one piece. And I can see there's a little minute square there. So that minute square means that I have something there I have not erased. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going back to that corner because there is something there. Otherwise, there would not have been a square there when I, when I grouped it. And if there is, I sure don't see it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and group them all together. And I am also going to increase my stitch length because, again, this is just a placement stitch. So run pitch increases the, the length of the stitch. And then OK. And I'm going to do set and OK. And now here also I'm going to select, select this to send this to the memory of the machine. All right, so here's my first light. Now this is an applique position. This is the positioning. If you wanted to take this design eventually to the scan and cut and have the scan and cut um, cut the pieces for you. You would want to rename this first one as applique material because that gives the scan and cut the clue that it, you want it to cut those pieces. Now I'm going to select add and I'm going to go back to my design center or IQ designer and I'm going to the pocket of the machine and I'm going to retrieve the pot that I just saved. The only thing I'm going to do here is change the line. Uh, this I'm going to cut with the scan and cut, so I don't need a straight tack down line because I'm going to just fuse my pieces on. If you were going to do the traditional where you would tack it and trim it manually, you would just leave this line as a double stitch and then select a different color. And you would touch use the bucket to touch all the areas. I am not going to use this as a traditional tack down. I am going to use an EV stitch, an E stitch, because um, my pieces will already be cut. So I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to once again touch every single area just so that I put those stitches in all the different places. And then I'm going to select Next. And this one, um, I can see where the pot and the lid are going the right directions. But if you look at where my EV stitch is going on the interior handle, it's going the wrong direction. So I am going to use my arrows up here to select. I think my battery's dead. To where the, um, the box is around that piece. And you can see that you have the option of changing the EV stitch to be to the outside instead of the interior. So now um, it's actually going to work to hold my applique down. The first one I can select my stitch width, but right now I'm going to just group everything together because I can. Uh, when you adjust, when you grab the chain link and group them, then what you do to one, you do to all. So I'm going to make that um, that width just be slightly smaller. And then um, the stitches between them slightly longer. And right now it's making that, um, that jump three times. It can just make it once. And then let's select set. And so now I have my outline stitch, which is my placement stitch. I have my tack down stitch, which is going to tack down my pieces. And now I'm going to add again and go back to my design center go back to my machine pocket because i want to select the same pot and now i'm going to make that part my satin stitch so i'm going to touch the bucket 
touch the um, the different choices satin stitch and this one I'm going to make pink and I'm going to touch all the areas and turn them pink and then next uh, I am going to group every all the pieces together because again then what I do to one I'll do to all and I'm going to just leave this as is and select set and convert. So now I have my teapot, which has been changed into an applique. I have my placement stitch, which is where the applique will to be placed. I have my tack down um, and I have my satin stitch. So now I'm going to add my flower. And you might have different ones. If you're on a Solaris, I'm on a Luminaire. I am going to select, where is it at? Is it here? There's some that I really like. It's these, I think. All right. I love this one right here. It's just a running stitch. And it's going to come in way too big. But that's okay. I can size it. And edit. And size. And I'm going to select to size it uh, proportionately and add or detract stitches. And I'm gonna take it down as small as I can get it and then move it onto the front of my teapot and then embroider. So now I've got my teapot. It's gonna sew an outline stitch. It's gonna sew a tack down stitch. It's going to sew a satin stitch, and then I'm going to go into, actually, the flower itself on this is also an applique stitch, so I can cut that on the scan and cut as well, and then um, it's just the tack down. And there you have it. That is how you would add or create a design from a JPEG image using an applique design using um, Design Center or My IQ. My Design Center or IQ Designer.